Hey guys, what the heck is going on? Sam here from Team Bro Fire. We are here on match number two. Totally excited about this, guys. I am stoked. Um, I hear I have here with me on uh, for a commentary for this match, Mr. Nick Walters, winner of the match number one for round one. Say what's up, Nick. Hey, what's going on, Sam? So you played Fluffles and um, Sam Chavez ended up playing in Zectors, which that was a crazy match, bro. That was like sitting here the yeah. whole time. I was like. I was like, yeah, dude, my dude's playing Fluffles. But then I was like, oh, and Zector's, though, that's going to be a problem, man, because there's a reason why Hornets banned, you know what I mean? So, I'm a, yeah, I was I was like, man, I mean, like, I was so one-sided because I was like, man, I hope Fluffles win, but at the same time, I don't want to I don't want to <laughs> sound biased, you know? But, uh, cool, so um, we have Victor. Victor's a JD up in the top right. All right, so Victor's playing um, some kind of ritual shenanigans. Um, definitely, definitely. He got the upstart on draw, which is always a good thing. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And if he's playing, if he's playing Ritual Sun Sun like that, um, it's always a really good card just to shuffle back to the upstart because you get the free, the free deck then. Um, because like the mm -hmm. Ritual Sanctuary, you just uh shuffle back a number of cards. Okay, yep, there we go, right on. I wonder if he's playing the um, uh, the Fluffle Herald or whatever that's been going around lately. If he is, we're gonna see draw power like Oh my gosh, else. dude. <laughs> It's gonna be crazy. Uh, I'm loving all the fluffle decks in here. I'm loving like all the um, everything else too. Like on the on the uh, the pre match, the uh, the pre game, the tournament pre game or whatever. Um, it was we had we had light sworn, dragon rulers versus Shadal, Cosmo, and that was just a crazy match. Like we ended up streaming that live, and that that was just crazy. And I was like, we got we gotta have some more of this. So, um, this is match number oh, yeah, this definitely. is match number three tonight. Um, I don't know. Uh, we'll see what's going on out here, but yeah, man, congrats on the, uh, congrats on the win, top 16. Uh, hey, I appreciate it. <laughs> yeah, top 16, it's, it, it sounds, it sounds really official, but it's just one, it's just, it's just one win, but it's been so, <laughs> one step closer, <laughs> so. Definitely, definitely, I want to take Fluffles to the top, might throw in some fun little things there, dude, failing if I make it far enough. Yeah. Um, oh, okay, so we got Benton, Eric, pretty familiar with this guy. Oh yeah, pretty familiar with Harold. Yeah. Depends on the build though. If it's if it's something crazy because of the way the ban list is listed, you yeah. know, it it could be yeah. <laughs> it it could be very very different from what I'm used to seeing. But no, no, I've I've played against enough Harold to know that that card needs to go off the field immediately. Oh yeah, yeah if, you, if you see that deck, man, it's automatically it's it's dangerous having a Harold on the field um, with like them having like three or four negates in hand because like you can't hardly do. Anything, man. It's I don't know. It's so bad. Uh, because you can't even dark hole it or anything. It's it's like because they'll just end up negating it, and then I don't know. They they, they pitch stuff like, you know, fluffle wings or like um, scepter or any of that kind of stuff that like you can have a special in back anyway. And I don't know. It's just it's just not it's not a fun deck to play against. It's fun to play. It's crazy fun to play. It's just not fun to play against by any means. But yeah. I mean, I don't know. I'm kind of curious to see. Yeah, Fluffle variant. He's playing yeah, he's the Fluffle variant. All right, shout out, man. That's awesome, man. The first, the first um, two official matches have been Fluffles. Like, like I don't want anybody to be like, oh man, Sam's hosting it. So like, <laughs> you're not Sam. You can't make that work. <laughs> uh, I don't want anybody to be like, oh, Sam's doing the tournament, so it's gonna all be Fluffles. But I mean, I wish more people would have watched the pre-match. Like I said, man, it was Shadal Cosmos versus Chaos Dragons. It was, it was nuts. Um, so I'm gonna see what um. See what Tyler's playing. Hopefully he's playing just like some crazy awesome shenanigans. Unless it's a mirror match and this will be fun. Hmm. He said I've only ever won with this deck once. <laughs> Ooh, well, man, that that you know you gotta try it though. Giving away giving away too much information. Man. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have much experience with this. Bear with me while I misplay three times. Okay, so this card. Okay, so this card just came out in um uh. What was that new set that came out? Uh, that would be the Maximum Crisis. Yeah, the Maximum Crisis set. It just came out Maximum Crisis. Set two field cards. Harold's going to negate it. Because, I, like, seeing that card, I'd be like, I have no idea what he's playing. So I'm just going to, like, you know, it just seems like a card like that would be um, something I'd want to just get rid of if I don't know what's going on. So. Definitely. Well, and it could lock down his Ritual Sanctuary play going forward if the guys, which I guarantee if he's uh, main yeah. in that, he's probably got at least one copy of, uh, yeah, uh, what is it, Gateway to Chaos and mm -hmm. Oracle of Zephyr? Yeah. Man, he just made him pass. Crazy. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my gosh. 
Okay, so um, that sucks, man. Um, feel bad for Tyler. Okay, so he didn't have a whole lot of other plays. Um, I mean, he's just going to go for it. So he's going to go spam another Herald out there. Um, at this point, he could make a Beatrice and then send um, Toy Vendor to the grave. Um, and then send Bear to the grave from that, and then he has Bear and Wings, and then, um, you can special back, like, your Herald from the grave with Sanctuary, as long as it was, um, summoned correctly in the first place. Um, that's my favorite combo to do with the deck, so, I don't know if he'll do that, that's what I like to do. <laughs> so, it's, it's weird, like, seeing this deck being played, when, like, like, you know, I don't know, have you ever, like, played, like, Fluffles, and you're like, whoa, that's really weird, and you, like, sit there, and you're like, I thought they were going to do this one play, but never mind. It's really exactly, weird. Exactly, exactly. Yeah. Um, I'm, so, I'm still curious what Tyler's playing, though, because I've only seen that one card, that set rotation. Uh, it's kind of hard to judge what he's playing, but I don't know, man. Whenever the tournament was announced, were you just like, right off the bat, you're like, I know what I'm playing, or were you just kind of like, um, I may. You know what? I, I said that a couple different things, but I mean, IRL, I have the most experience now for the past year or so playing Fluffles. So, yeah. I mean, I, I played Pure for quite some time and just threw Brilliant in there just to test it out and saw how much more explosive it could be. Yeah, people, so, yeah, no, I, I, I kind mean, of figured I was going to be playing that coming in. I mean, Brilliant's like, it, it, it makes the deck reach like a whole new level. Like, I don't know, people are like, you don't need Brilliant. You don't need it, but like, when, if you can learn to work with it, man, it's so good in that deck. I mean, Brilliant makes any deck with White Monster amazing as it is, just because it's just, I don't know. I mean, double normal summon and spam another 2300 out there, and like, it's good stuff. Mm -hmm. right? So he may be able to attack for game right here. Uh, he's got 318s, 54. Huh. Oh, yeah. Yeah, if, if he, when he special left the chair off of that attack, he'll be going up on board. Did he search the chair? No, I think he normal summoned that. If he, if he were to special a chair, I think that he would have to have special it on the normal summon of that. So I don't know if he's going to do that or not. Um, he may have game. If he has an instant fusion or anything, he's still in a rank four in attack. But I mean, other than that, like he's got a big board. Um, I think he could also go Gaga Samurai if he's playing that with the two. Um, yeah, two with fairies. the main jewel with the scepter, yeah. yeah. Or go Fairy Cheer Girl, too. Um, but he's just going to play it safe, attack with the three, and leave that one Herald in defense, because it does have a 28 uh, defense. It's always smart. Playing safe. He's got negates, and he knows that he knows that his opponent probably would have um, stretched a little farther if he had something else to do. So, but um, I don't want to say Victor has this match, but it's looking good for him. Oh, yeah, definitely. It looks like he's going to go for some kind of an extra deck play. Maybe like a Biss one. It, Fairy Cheer Girl also is really good too. Uh, probably my favorite seed in the game, to be honest with you. So, yeah. You play that card? No, I, I, I'd, I'd probably go for Dweller. Dweller. Definitely. Yeah, just because you never know what yeah. you're playing. Uh, what's the other game? Tornado Dragon. Okay. Is that Aranita Player's turn? Oh, it is. Huh? I didn't know. Actually, yeah. I did not know Tornado Dragon was um, during the Player's turn. That's cool. Right on. I I don't know. I've I've never even played the card. I've I've kind of just. Been... Oh, you you you'll like it. it makes Trevor Draco match up a lot easier. Oh, he's got six cards in hand. See what he can do. Man. He's like walking out some of his. <laughs> I'm sorry. You gonna negate that? That'd be kind of weird to negate that, but I mean, if he does, he does. I, I'd probably let it go through. I would just let it go Three through. Three cards in hand is just Dark Hole, Dark Hole, Regeki over and over again. Yeah, I know. It's the only thing I'm going to play. Oh, my God. I've been there. Dude, I remember, like, the first time that um, I was on the Dueling Book. Man, I did his DN back in the day. And I was playing, um, I can't remember what, I was playing, like, some weird mill shenanigans or something. Like, decking my opponent out with Needleworm and stuff. <laughs> and, like, so I was playing Pot of Dwell. Oh, man. And um, I activated Pot of Duality, and I added the three cards to my hand. And my opponent just got so mad because I didn't know I was supposed to mill him off the top of my deck first. And he's like, what are you doing? He's like, 
I don't even know which cards to do. And I was like, no, I promise there are these three cards. But like, my hands shuffled. <laughs> and I was like, sorry, man. Like, I, <laughs> yeah, I know. So, yeah, people get, people get pretty like, butthurt on that. Okay. He just went ahead and was just like, screw it. I'll even let them read Viper Sheep and then I'll attack and they're like, Wicked Witch. And they're like, oh, on attack. And I'm like, sorry. <laughs> try again. Try yeah. again, man. <laughs> All right. So, who's going first? Hopefully, okay, this car again. Again with this. I don't know what's going on. I think he's trying to restrict his ritual sanctuary. He's got to be. Uh, GGG? Yeah. <laughs> I, don't know. I don't know what GGG <laughs> means, but... Uh, man, I wish I knew that what that was, though. Huh. It's cool because... Um, okay. He's got Ravine. Dragonity, or is it... Or is he playing the blue? I'm going to guess a D-Ruler mashup. Okay. I hope so, man. I hope so. Like, I don't know. I, I want to see this match go a little bit longer, so like, I think I'm just going to like have a little bit of power. Um, <laughs> because, like, dude, it would just be I don't know, too much just to see Harold knock out somebody twice. Uh, just deck thinning right here, I'm guessing. So, yep. Yeah, bad and second Ravine. Yeah, I don't know because right. you've seen the blue eyes with Dragon Ravine also, but you've also seen the um. Since since we have all the Dragon Rulers at one for this format, um, on this tournament, he may be playing um. Yeah, he may be playing Dragon. I hope he does, man. I I honestly hope he does. Victor's meaning to sport about it. He's like, I think he's ready to see this just as much as we are, man. That's what we got <laughs> here. Um, so I'm gonna you. That's different. Okay. Okay, I need. I want to see where this goes. This, this, this should be good. Yeah. I'm like, okay, review effect. Now we shall know. Wow, he opened up two set rotations. Huh. <laughs> I guess it's good. I mean, just pitch carve, you know. I'm just not pitching any other way. Um, oh, no, he's playing Dragon Udy. Yeah, it, it's Dragoonity's. Holy crap. <laughs> it actually is. I wonder if he's playing awesome. like the, um, the Dragoonity um, Dragon Ruler uh, build or something. This is going to be weird. Okay, so tuning going into level six. Oh, no, he's playing flat out Dragoonity's, bro. Okay. Yeah. Try to see if there's something he can target. No. One. Level three or lower Dragon Monster. Dragon type monster and dragoon and monster to the graveyard. Equip that target to this once per turn. You can send one equip card to the graveyard. Here comes Oh yeah, for sure. For sure. Or Omega. Oh, Crystal Link. Cool. Yeah. I mean if at the very least, if you can just get Crystal Wing out there. Crystal Wing by itself is a problematic card, so I mean if your opponent doesn't have a whole lot to do, like like playing Harold, I played Harold Fluffles a lot. And like if you if you open up good, it's good. But like sometimes like you need that one card. What is this? Activates during main phase one, main phase two. During each player's main phase one, monster on the field cannot be destroyed by their opponent's card effects. No. <laughs> oh, okay. Oh, 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 okay. Oh no. <laughs> I, I'm so confused. What's going on? Okay, with mid breaker up, you can't act, you cannot activate any more field spell cards. So that's up. Yep, you cannot activate. Yep, absolutely, he is one hundred percent right. Okay, so, um, yeah, that happens, man. I think he's gonna give it back to him. Okay, cool. Yeah, he's giving it back to him then, for sure. Oh man. Yeah, that sucks, man. Hey, okay, so. Uh, lesson to everybody, man. Like the uh, that quick play spell is broke for sure. So is he giving the spell back to him, or uh, I think he's got to throw it back in the deck. I, I don't think dueling book actually knows how to get it, to do it from the deck right? with that. Okay. That's a bummer. All right. So yeah, um, misplay, but it's okay. I mean, like. This game and with your game too, man. Like um, everybody's being pretty good sports about people misplaying on this because you know this isn't no 
any kind of Konami, anything. Like, this is just, I mean, Team Bro Fire tournament, you know, like, people are going to misplay, and, like, I don't know, people so far have been really cool with, um, uh, people just being like, yeah, man, it's fine, like, whenever, what will happen last, like, you do, like, a Chainlink 2 for, uh, Fluffle, and then, uh, Fluffle's play around Strike, dude, like, it's, like, it's crazy, and then, uh, he tried to strike something, and then you guys, like, re pretty much rebound the game, um, and you both exactly. recorded, like, yeah. It's like I drew, I drew into Baron and Instant Fusion. I had an Instant Fusion in hand. I pitched it off a penguin. And then he tried to strike uh, Saber, or maybe it was Tiger. Because yeah. I was just going to pop all his back row away. And he thought he could strike Tiger off. I'm like, I'll put him back if you want me to put him back. And he just went, yeah, yeah, you know what? Go ahead and put him back. I'll take the 1500. I'm probably going to die anyway. Yeah. <laughs> this one is so good. Because I don't know. I just, we're, we're on a live stream, so I would hate for, like, you know, <laughs> anybody to be like, Oh no, and then you know, irreparable game state. Like, well, I mean, <laughs> I don't know, guys. Like, it's it's kind of uh, you're on a live stream, so it's gonna be a little difficult. So he set toy vendor with the fluffle bear, normal summoning scepter, um, activate an effect. Can Chris Wing Chris Wing just negates monster effects, right? Yeah, he can negate any monster effect. So if he decides to, he can negate scepter, and yes, he negates. Uh, it. Oh, maybe? I don't know. He, I don't know. That might have been... Could be bait. Yeah. I mean... But Scepter is kind of the only normal summon in the deck. It's not going to be able to do it. Um, yeah, it's just negated. And then he, Chris only gains the attack, right? Yeah, yeah. No, and normally he'd destroy it too, but because Midbreaker fields up, it protects yeah, your, it right. protects your opponent, um, monsters during the main phase one. Can you chain sovereignty? Um, he would have had to. If he had it in hand, yeah. yeah he would have had to. Have so yeah, he, he's gonna chain it. Okay. Okay, so it, it that's kind of weird because like. Yeah, like he would have had to stay to Scepter Chainlink 1, um, and the Sovereignty Chainlink 2 to build his chain and then allow Crystal Wing at that point to. Okay, I think they're going through with it though. Okay, cool. Good sports. All right. So I don't know exactly how that would have played out. I could be wrong. Um, no, you're, no, you're right. Uh, Seraph has to be Chainlink 1. Yeah. And, yeah. and then the chair, of course, can be, can be 2, so he'd have to end up doing the chair. Okay, so okay, he's chaining to the clearing. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. All right then, let's do it that way. Um, all right, draw one. Yeah, tons of draw power in this deck, dude. I want to go as far as say as like this deck has just as much draw power, if not as much draw power as like regular fluffle, because you draw two from scepter chair. I'm sorry, no chair and chair. Um. You have Fairy Chair Girl Instant. I, I actually like to play one Fusion Substitute in the deck. Um, it's fun. Uh, and then uh, so much draw. It'll, the the engines that search each other in this deck, man, are really what make it so freaking consistent. Because, like, the Benton can search any of your ch stick chairs or fluffles, really. Except for Bear. Um, and once you get that engine going, you can, like, start another engine like at that point you start a fluffle engine or you start like your stick and chair engine and they, they all just pull into each other like usually if you can pull off ben 10 and get a good search off of it and get what you need um that'll bleed into your oh no he can't overlay with two no he cannot nope okay so he knows all right yeah tyler caught him on that one yeah it's gonna happen though no oh, yeah no i'm glad i'm glad people are catching stuff though so, yeah, it's kind of awkward whenever you overlay with stuff and you can't, because you have to send them to the grave and switch them back on building book anyway. It's kind of annoying. You can't just, like, undetach, you know what I mean? Like, they have to go back to where they came yeah, from yeah, and yeah. get them back to the field. So, Tyler may have an advantage right here. Um, we'll see. We'll see. Um, I don't know, maybe it's me. But if I was going, um, since he knows that he searches a whole lot, I don't know if he's playing Omega or not, but first turn, since stuff can't be destroyed on his opponent's side of the field, I might have went Omega. Like, 
it makes sense because like say like he were to search with scepter or with manji or whatever i would have went with omega and then snipe the card out of his hand because all crystal wing did was negate um i don't know maybe i'm wrong on that but like i maybe i don't know if he's even playing omega um who knows but uh you know he may have went for crystal turn one just in case he did open up harold that way he could just uh, yeah. make him dump all the hand advantage that he could generate yeah you're right um yeah no he, uh, yeah crystal wing might have been the better option right there then it's just weird because Crystal Wing does not combo at all with what's that card? Uh, Magical Mid Breaker Field. It does. It just doesn't combo with mm -hmm. it at all. So it's like kind of weird. Okay, Insta Fusion. <laughs> that is, man, it's crazy because like Insta Fusion is better in Heralds and Fluffles more than I've ever seen with any deck because like I don't know. Norden's a fairy, so it's just like it opens up cards that other decks can't run like fairy cheer girl and all that kind of stuff um and now that um norton is a fairy and all the other three are fairies too um he can go into the okay he he might be popping i know he can't really pop crystal wing. he's gonna end up popping his face down which is probably either fusion substitute or uh upstart or a toy vendor something that's gonna like okay Okay. So, in case anybody doesn't know, when Scepter's um, uh, XYZ summoned with three materials, um, a card, you can pop a card on the field and draw a card. Um, and then Del Toros lets you pop a card on the field and draw a card too. So, it's a pop two and draw. So, it's pretty broken. Um, but I don't think he can destroy. Can he destroy his own field spell? He, he can pop Midbreaker. Oh, he can, okay. He can pop his own Midbreaker. I was wondering about that. I was like, how does he get rid of that thing? I was like, that's busted, man. Um, so now he can pop Crystal Wing, I'm guessing. Yeah. Okay. Uh, bummer, bro. Okay. Um, Victor did not take a thousand life, or did he? Did he take a thousand? Yeah, he did. Okay, cool. I forgot he up. Uh, Tyler up started. So. Um, and then Crystal Wing does nothing in the grave, right? Nothing. Doesn't float at all. Huh. Okay then. Um, it's looking like a good advantage for uh. Or, um, At least for Victor out. here, he turned that right back around. Yeah, he did. Um, for sure. I don't know, man. Yeah, the Del the Delta Rose was definitely. I I, I don't want to say he drew the instant fusion off of um the chair, <laughs> but he may have just ripped that card like just out of nowhere because um I don't know, man. <laughs> it just it's crazy because like I know how like well just the Harold Fluffles can just come back out of nowhere. Uh, turn okay. Uh, he doesn't have Harold out there. That's a good. That's a good part about it, I guess. Um, I'm curious to see what his face down is. I wonder if he's bluffing. Um, if it's me, like when I'm playing that, sometimes I'm bluffing to set Fusion Substitute or Toy Vendor. Um, just because like. Uh, I want my obviously I want my opponent to destroy it. So. Um, okay, so this card gains 200 attack for each face up Dragoonity. Um, so this comes out at 17. This card is normal summoning, select one, level three, and equip it to this card. Okay. Okay, so you equip. Okay. Okay. Um, and then this will bring out another Dragoonity. Uh, uh, yeah, it lets him special back at uh, Skyline. So if he wants to, he can go in for a second. He can go for a second Crystal Wing. Yeah. <laughs> Give me a sec. Nope, nope, nope. Start okay. Spark this time. Okay. Uh, once you turn it into his turn, you can target all your face up your control. Okay, that might have actually been a game changer. Be really big game changer. Um. But. Heralds do play. I play triple Insufusion in Heralds, um, and Castell is a uh, good contender for any <laughs> any deck that uh, cards can't be destroyed in. But I mean, Stardust Spark. It really depends on if he has the out to it or not. Um, all I can say, like, is I'm glad Vanities is not a thing right now. Because I mean, I remember playing Blue. I don't know if you uh, did. You ever play Blue Eyes? Yeah. 
Against, against Blue Eyes? Oh, I, I used to main Blue Eyes. Oh. I, I actually played a Chaos Max variant there for a while. Yeah. Bar fan. Okay, so um, earlier, I don't know if he knew the combo where you can banish the um, Dawn and add Benton back to hand. Did he do that, or was that last game? He did that last game on that. Okay. Um, okay, cool. Let's say. Uh, okay, so free prep. We're going to add Harold. Um, may be in trouble. I wonder what he's got face down, though. Yeah, that's always a worry. Yeah. Um, Turning into a drowning gear force is never fun. What was that terraforming? Uh, no idea. Oh, we're being effect to add. Okay, okay. Oh, what's he doing? Oh, yeah. Oh. It's, that's it's over. Yeah, no, that that just ended it right there. Unless he unless he's got a mirror force set or something. But even then, he can just protect it with spark. What is the second one? One of those. Yeah. Okay. Nope. It's it's a bluff. We may be seeing a game three. I mean, yeah, it's it's got to be a toy vendor or a fusion substitute. Uh, he's wanting him to pop it. And I don't know, the, um, oh, man. Oh, man. The Kokai is no fun either, man. Oh, I hate that card. So you, your opponent oh, can't. It's, it's terrible. Yeah, your opponent can't special summon light or dark monsters as long as you have a dragon up on the field. And start a spark can protect either one of these guys. Um, I mean, I used to love playing against Blue Eyes players when I was playing Pluffles because I would go. Instant Fusion, Norton, Norton into Fluffle Dog, which was an Earth. Yeah, it was Toy Vendor. And then um, Exceed into Castell, so it would be like a Water, Earth, and then Wind. And neither one of them, none of those were Light or Dark, so then I'd Castell the uh, Kokai. Oh, okay. This is good. This is actually a very good card. Yep. I used to play this in... Uh, oh, wow. Yeah, that, that, that's Game 3. Oh, yeah. man. Oh, oh. man. Oh, busted. Okay. Cool. We are seeing the game three. All right. This is the first game three of the um, tournament. I mean, this is only the second match, but, you know. All right. Even then, uh, the, the, the back and forth there was awesome. Yeah, it was I, I, good. Just when, just when you thought it came back around. That's why, that, man, that's what I would like. You know, I mean, that's why you know, when, they, when they just ban the majority of hand traps, like you ban all the, um, the Maxi and the Ghost Ash and the the Lux Sack, you know, just crap on it. You know what I mean? All that stuff. Like, we haven't had one back and forth duel at all yet. Um, it's been really good. We started, it's our third match uh, from the from the two for the tournament, and then and then the pregame, which all were all had. They've all been amazing matches so far, but like, they've all been so back and forth. This is your your match was the only one that wasn't um, uh, didn't go into game three. So, but I re I really do feel like. Getting the maxi out of here and the ghost sash is probably a good idea for the tournament. Um, oh yeah, and just get, getting rid of the zoo entirely. I, I didn't want to watch a twenty-five minute combo nope. to draw seven. Nope. <laughs> what, what's funny is though is like if the um, if the tournament ends up lasting longer than the ban list, um, then Norton will outlive the ban list <laughs> at least for the bro fire tournament. <laughs> That's gonna be fun. Everybody's like, Norton's banned now. I'm like, no, he's not. It's still going. <laughs> so I want to like advise everybody. Like, if the uh, if the tournament lasts longer than June 12th, I'm gonna be like, please play a deck with Norton while you still can. Please. <laughs> I I still get to use him for one more regional. Yeah. But he's dead for Nats. Yeah, dude. Oh my gosh. And we don't get patchwork for Nats. That is. Yeah. That that was that was kind of a slap in the face. Yeah. Uh, uh, so I'll probably be playing the deck that Victor's playing for Nats. Um, maybe. What's that? Oh, no, 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 no. Okay, so he didn't see the band. Okay, so. Ash is banned. Okay. Well, uh, well, that happened. All right, guys, we are back. Game three. So what happened is um, Tyler used a card. I guess he didn't see like the updated ban list. Tyler used a card, and uh, it was Ghost Ash. And so, yeah, it was uh, it's not legal. And Victor's like, no problem, bro. Uh, we can just like redo game three. Um, awesome sportsmanship, awesome sportsmanship. So, um, shout out to uh, Victor Flood and do that. So, 
Um, we still have Nick Walters on um, stream with us, uh, winner of game one. So, um, how do you think this one, this game three is going to go, man? I don't know. Like, it's, it's, it just really ends up coming down to who has the better hand on, on the draw. I mm -hmm. mean, he's already got Floyd Bender. He's got, he's got the wings and grave. So, I mean, if he can end up ripping bear, I was like, maybe a chair play. Yeah. He's good, but it looks like he just summoned out Manju on this one. So. Too bad, Eric. It's a good thing they weren't too too far into the first um, first box. Whenever oh, yeah. Whenever yeah. you play that card, uh, that, that could have been bad, depending on how it goes. But, um, yeah, good sportsmanship from from uh, Nick up there for sure. Uh, what'd you add? He yeah, searched Harold. Harold off of that, right? Okay, cool. Yeah, he got Harold off of gotcha. that. Um, I don't think Dragoonities can OTK. I'm not sure. Uh, not that I know of. I know they can set up a lot of bullets. Some <laughs> <laughs> They can do, do some negations. They can do some cool rank A plays. Uh, basically, they're they're basically in my mind. If you're looking just to crystal wing as your main play for your power play turn one, yeah. they're basically like a little bit weaker version of wind witches. But they didn't get that last game though. So. <laughs> I mean, oh no, they they, they came <laughs> in. And Bill Parker is a little bit lit. Awesome. Okay, so he has the Royal Two Chicken. Oh, okay, this one's different. Um, now this he played this one last game. Um, mm -hmm. I, I haven't seen Dragoonies in forever though. Uh, I know for a fact Harold's don't play any hand traps, so I think that attack would go to yeah, hundred life points. Um, Victor did not gain a thousand for. Um, are you okay? He gained the upstart. Yeah. yeah, he did not gain a thousand for the upstart though. I'm going to let him know. Okay, let's see here. All right. So maybe he has a chance to... So I, I mean, I, Harold's is like... They're like Fluffles in that sense where like... You can just... Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Yeah, you can just like draw yep. one card and it's like amazing. So he's going to end up searching... He's gonna mill. What's he milling? Toy Vendor's a good, um, a good card in this deck. E even just with the the other engine anyway, because like no matter what you mill, it's more fuel for that. Like see, like that man, perfect. It's more fuel for you to um, recycle stuff. <laughs> He's at a. I'm sorry. It's more uh, fuel for you to um, recycle stuff with Sanctuary. It's like because you know you need the. X amount of spells in your grave to special summon a monster with X amount of um, levels, you know. So, like, I don't know. It's just really good. Like, no matter what you mill, if you mill a monster, bring it back with Norden or Sanctuary. If you mill a spell, shuffle it back with Sanctuary as fodder. If you mill a Fluffle, then that's even better. So, um, then he oh, searched yeah. for. Okay, there we go. So, he searched for the vendor. Or I'm sorry, no, Bear. Bear's going to search another copy of vendor, I believe. Um,. And then now he has Baron Wings in the grave. And it's about to get real up in here, Nick. About to get really, really Let's draw two and grab another set of wings out. Oh, yeah. He's going to draw two. And then he's going to either draw. He has Harold in hand. So he's going to draw. Ooh. Ooh. Oh. Ooh, Crow. Oh. oh, and there went the oh, wings. Crap. Dang, man. <laughs> Fair enough, man. Doody Crow enough. is a card. Yep, yeah. He's a card. <laughs> That sucks. Oh, it's that face. I guarantee that that would have that would have gotten him the rest of his herald combo, or gotten him in the sticking chair, or something, or instant fusion. Oh yeah. That would like there, I've never not like. Oh, he's passed. He's flat out like. Oh, it's this again, man. What is this? It, you know, <laughs> I, I I like I kind of see why he's using it. I can't really fault him for it either. Mid breaker field on your opponent. Yeah. I mean, especially if you're playing against Herald, you can't use your recycle effects. You can't use your yep. pitch effects. I mean, it, it does work out great. It's a quick play spell, though, too. That's the thing. It's like, if your opponent activates Terraforming or something, like, 
And what do you, you know what I mean? Like, you can't exactly. Just change that rotation, and basically they, they've they got three dead terraformings in deck and three dead spells, or they have to deal with it yeah. first. And a lot of decks just don't have an easy way out without their field spell. Yeah, yeah, you don't need that right now. <laughs> oh, my God, that DD Crow is just on point, man. Uh, if the, man, if the Grenadies make it to top 16, I'm going to be like, <laughs> okay, man, rock on, dude. Uh, oh, yeah, you can play Cards of Confidence in this, can't you? Yeah, yep. yeah. about that. For some reason, I was thinking he'd get the out of blue eyes after this, but I was like, no, wait, that's with... Um, <laughs> <laughs> um, no, that's with uh, Whitestone. Okay, so he is now... Um, Able to make a lightning Shidori play. Two level four wins. Um, can he make a, a tuner? Okay, so he can he can go into a, a synchro ten. No, he can, uh, he, no can do a, he can do a synchro twelve. There are no synchro twelve except for the big boys, but he can't do that with what he got. But he can make it a crystal wing. Um, and basically just punch for it, and he gets any kind of bust off the Dragoonity. So, I mean, if he just leaves that up, you know. Yeah. Nope, nope. He's going for a second one. Man, it, dude, Dragoonity is, if you can do two of level four, dude, out there on this, at the same time, this guy can be dangerous, man. Like, it's like watching just, like, Synchrons go. Oh, misclick. Yeah, see, right there. Yeah, that's what, that's what I thought he was going to do. Then he's going to special out another one. Um... Dang, man. Okay, and then he goes into a level 8. No! Oh, it's diffusion's oh, there. Oh, no. <laughs> oh, crap, man. Oh, yeah. Oh, oh man. Can, can, he make, can he make three of these? If, he's, if he plays Guardian of Samurai, this is game. Huh. Oh, wow, yeah. dude. Bro, if you can get seriously, okay. if you can get if you can get two of the level four, the ducks on the field at the same time, yeah, it's this game right here. Okay, uh, we got Gator out there. Dang. Okay, my mind is blown right now from uh, Dragoonities, man. This is awesome. Okay, so as soon as it's dark, is that what this does? Okay, so let's check this out. Once returned during your main phase one, you can add one level four or lower dragon type monster, wing beast type monster from deck to your hand. So what's he adding? Oh. Well, he, he added back Zephyros, so he just dumped it to the grave. Okay. Immediately, okay. Deck of Thorns, dragon type monster, dragon type. Make its attack and defense zero. I'm okay, just completely astounded of, about, by what... Um, this Dragoonities can do, man. This is nuts. Yeah, this is... I've, I've, I've played against Dragoonities before. I've never seen this. Yeah. this is, like, I've seen a two of them, and I've seen, you know, you know, a double Bajar and everything like that, but I've never seen that little... Oh, oh, oh there's, there's the okay. strike. <laughs> oh, man. Oh. Worth 1,500 life points all day long, dude. All day long, it's worth it. Okay. Oh, you've got soul charge. Okay. Oh. <laughs> oh man. And now black metal dragons back at full attack. Oh man, but he's at least alive for one more phase. Yep. I mean, if he can play through this, I mean. It's, like, if Victor can get through this field, like, what, okay, what all the gates does he have? Does he have, like, a, I want to say, um, the Dragonity Knight, that's not during the player's turn. Uh, what's he doing right here? He's tribute summoning. Okay. Wow. Okay. Bro, what is he doing? Oh, my gosh. What years, man? What is Dragon type monsters Dragon. in control cannot be destroyed by battle, except that once turned, they can detach. Target one level five. 
special from the target. Can I attack? Oh my god, he's gonna go to rank six now. Plus four to Zephyrus rank eight. He's making crystal wing again. Or he might make spark. I don't know. Dude. Oh, yeah, he made spark. Okay, even, <laughs> even if even if Victor breaks this move, this deserves like a round of applause from the people watching this. Oh my god. And now he's got another rank six play. <laughs> Dude, this he's is nuts, in. man. Oh my gosh. Dude, this is Okay, I'm sure my local needs to watch this after it's all said and done because of the fact that he oh he started out the second out to him, so he doesn't have the play. Okay, so he's got Ptolemy. Okay, so now he can return whatever he wants back up. Oh, he's adding back BD Crow. No. So yeah. Oh man. Well, Dang. that just made life extremely hard. Dude, I've never seen Dragoonies go off like that. Like, <laughs> that, was, that was some serious stuff, man. Like, you think he would have been able to push through the Solemn Strike, though? Because he only had 7,200 after his fight. Um, I'm, uh, does he even have any, does he have any negates? Um, I mean, so, uh, I don't think he's got anything in hand. I've seen him let's be hard through it. Okay, so there's Benton. Ooh, if he sets up Harold though, because Benton, Benton can search and negate. Uh, oh no, 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 he can't. He's gonna DD Crow the Benton. He's gonna DD Crow the Benton. Uh, but um, Harold does have a 28 defense. So that's a thing. Um, did you? But I think he's. I think he's got game because unless he's got another strike set, he's he can patrol me away okay. that herald with no real issue. Yeah. Okay, so here's the deal. Here's the deal. Check this out. Um, you can banish this card. I'm reading, reading Dawn. You can banish this card. Yep. So, it, 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 yeah, that's what exactly what I was about to say. You can banish this card to um, target a monster that, we use, that was used for a tribute summon, period. Um, so it can even be banished at that point. No, 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 no. Just return it from your grave to your hand. But it, it can be a monster that was tribute summoned at any point of the game. Um, and that's actually something that I didn't know either. Um, so yeah, reading okay. Dawn, reading Dawn at the end of it, um, you can banish this card from your graveyard, then target one of your monsters in your graveyard that was tributed for ritual summon, return that target to your hand. So if there's any monster in his grave, it doesn't have to be the one that he was using right at that moment. So it looks like he has a wings play. So uh, he, okay, yeah, ben, okay. Benton's effect will still go off. Benton's effect will still go off. Um. And search for the, is that what he did, right? He just searched for the. I got caught up reading Dawn. Yeah, yeah, okay. it looks like that's exactly what he did there. And he just activated the wings play, so he he went ahead and did that. Okay. This may turn back around for him. This may very well. Uh, <laughs> this match is crazy, man. I'm just like I don't know where <laughs> this is going. Oh, this is too good. How many people we got watching? We got nine people watching right now. Shout out to everybody. Creator Genesis, Baby Stomper, Blue Goblin. Ooh. Whoever that is. You're cool, probably. <laughs> but get a different name. Uh, Dangerous22, Jolder, um, you, me, Ryan, and the Win32 Nimba something, and something else. Okay, cool. So we added Bear to Hand from the Toy Vendor. So currently he's got three negates in hand. I don't believe that. Um, Tyler, the guy with the Dragoonities, for anybody watching on the live stream, knows, I don't think that he has any negates on the field right now. I mean, he has Spark. Harold does negate and destroy, um, but Harold can chain to Spark's effect also. So that will be interesting to see how that works out. 
Hmm. Okay, so he's going to have to negate this here. Yeah. Yeah, he's forcing that for sure. Um, but I, I don't know what the back row is. It could be another strike for all I know, man. Like, okay, he's gonna, just going to negate it. Okay. Huh. Man, I'm okay, just like... So now the question is, what else do you have? Because you can't attack over... Okay. You can instant fusion. I would make him waste the Norden first. Uh, or, man, that's weird. Okay, has he used Norton this game? Oh, yeah, duh. Hey, wait, Norton's underneath. Okay, I'm confused. Okay, he said he couldn't negate it with Harold. He said, but he's okay. sparking. So, okay, so he's, he's gonna, okay, okay. 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 All right. So I need to discard one of these cards. Okay. Okay, well, it's looking weird right now for Victor, for sure. Huh. He did get rid of Midbreaker, though. So if he ends up drawing into the Sanctuary, he could end up with something decent here. Sanctuary just because there's nothing, big, there's nothing big enough to run over it. Man, not this guy again. And he, you know he's got a full grave of stuff, too, so... I don't know about you, man, but this is one of the craziest matches I've seen in a long Again, time. Again, I, I didn't know Dragoonity mm -hmm. actually had this in them, and I'm just pointing to the entire field here. Mm -hmm. Like, how do you, how do you make that? I don't. Ty Tyler is hands <laughs> down the best Dragoonity player I've ever seen. Like, this is like some Blackwing stuff. Right here. <laughs> oh yeah. Okay, he's he's gonna go for crystal wing, and and I I want to see a strike set. I do. I want I want to see this keep rolling. Yeah, Hector's looking like he's not looking worried. I'm not looking at his facial expression. Just kind of reading this text that he's putting on there. Um. Uh, okay, man. Oh, okay. Oh. Hector there we go. All right. Well, hey, um, to Hector. Thanks for being a good sport on game uh, three for uh, letting Tyler redo that with the whole Ghost Ash thing and all that stuff. So, um, anyway, thanks, Nick, for commentating with me. That was a crazy match. Tyler, the Dragoonity King from here on out. Everybody know Tyler as the Dragoonity King. That was absolutely amazing. Uh, you got any other last words on this, Nick? Man, I... <laughs> I've never seen that deck ever go off anywhere near like that. I, you know, sportsmanship, the whole, the whole deal, the yeah. entire match was amazing to watch from start to finish. I'm glad I was here with for it. That's yeah, for sure. All right, dude. We'll see you later, man.